Okay guys, part three, finally getting some warmer weather up here in New York. Um, I'm getting back into finishing this build. First of all, I did have the manifold and the hot side mounted and I noticed you actually had to install the wastegate here before you put on the manifold. Um, so I had to pretty much take the hot side off, take the manifold off, install the wastegate and the tube right here. Now that the weight skate's on, I was able to put the manifold back on. The hot side is back on. I'll be able to put the down pipe in. But for now, I'm gonna get started on removing this intake manifold. There's a few things that I have to address on the bottom of the intake manifold. So unfortunately, this has to come off. I think it's a pain in the ass, but it looks like there's some brackets here and, and the whole thing just comes up. We'll get started on that. Okay, so the intake manifold is off. Now these lines right here are actually vacuum lines going into the intake manifold. Once you boost the car, these lines at some point are gonna be pressurized and they slip off very easily when pressurized. So we're gonna add a clamp here, we're gonna add a clamp here, and another one here. Okay, so we got the clamps on here, here. Uh, I'm not sure if this one needs a clamp, but I'm gonna put one anyway. Intake manifold is back on. The fuel injectors and the fuel lines are all connected. I'm gonna actually pull this sensor. I believe that the OEM can only read negative pressure, which is vacuum. So if you're going boosted, you would have to replace that with a sensor that can read both negative and positive boost pressure. This is the sensor that you're gonna need. It's the Omni three bar map sensor. So I purchased this from JDL and this is the right one. We're gonna have to install. Okay, so this is gonna be all the uh, oil and coolant lines going to the turbo. So this one is the feed line. It's gonna go into the top of the turbo. This is the return line. So if you take a look, uh, this is where the feed goes into, right in here. And then the return drain line will come out of here. So we have all the fittings from JDL for that. And this one right here, is for the coolant and this as well comes with the fittings um, i guess i'll get started on putting all the fittings on the turbo itself i'll mount it and then start running all the lines all right so we have the fittings all in we have again it's the oil feed line on the other side it's going to be the return this is where it drains out this should be pointing downwards towards the oil pan and this one right here is just a hose bar for the coolant line. And again, on the other side, it's a coolant as well. Now for the oil, we're actually gonna take this fitting out right here. Uh, we'll remove that and attach the line into here. The line will come and drain right into the core. Um, then from the core, it's gonna drain straight down into the pan. So we got all the oil lines done, uh, the feed and return, which comes on the bottom. Uh, next, we're gonna do the coolant lines, which go into the side, to each side of the turbo core. And uh, we're actually gonna take it from the coolant lines that go to the throttle body. Um, if you could see, this, this line here is actually going to the throttle body. I'll actually pull this off I'll run one line coming from the bottom to the turbo core and then from the turbo core going back into the throttle body. All right, so we got the coolant lines done, oil lines are done. I don't have any hose clamps on here yet. Um, these aren't tightened down, nothing's tightened down. I'm just gonna leave it as is. 
charge piping goes through here into the turbo. I wanna make sure I have the compressor housing clocked properly uh, before I tighten anything down. So I'll be wrapping up this episode now. It's, it's starting to get a little longer than I expected. Next, I'll actually have to put in the clutch while I have everything disconnected from the engine. Um, I'm just gonna pull the engine out and just do the clutch through there. I'll end up putting that in another episode. And then once the clutch is back on, I'll continue with part four of the turbo install. The only thing left for the turbo install is gonna be the uh, exhaust lines and the charge piping and intercooler. Tune in next time for that.